I realized I had something better than FS365, some oil or uh, rust resistor thing. I can't remember. Put a picture. Um, it's this, where is it? This stuff. It's quite slick and it goes on fairly heavy, this stuff. But the thing is, it spreads out. It just wicks across the surface. So I've thrown, I've applied it pretty liberally to everything really, um, including the exhaust header. Um, I may paint that with some paint, um, VHT paint at some point. I may, may not, I don't know yet. Um, because it is quite corroded, but it's not all the way through. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this bike has rust everywhere. It's unbelievable. It's like it's been gone to the bottom of a river, but these bikes are known for this because the paint jobs are pretty lackluster. So, yeah. just, I've just thrown it on everywhere. Anywhere I can see a bit of rust, I have thrown it on, except for the brakes. I prefer not to put oil on them, even if it's not moving for a while. Oop, I've missed the spot. Taking the cam cover off, which wasn't easy because the bolts were already out, and I'm checking the clearance. So this is the inlet side. I'm at top dead center on the left bank, the problem bank. Um, I'm trying to find the clearances that are currently in here, and I found out the problem. It's exactly what I thought. This is 0.04 millimeters, and it is not going under this lobe. This is on the, I don't know what you call that side, the free side, I suppose. Um, so this is 0.04, and it will not go under. Inlet side, it passes fine, that's really clear. This is the other side, um, the right bank, exhaust valve, and 0.04 pack goes under it fine. Inlet, yep, fine here as well. But this one, nothing. I can't, that's the smallest one I've got. And I'm pretty sure 0.04 is way too tight. Um, what that means is the exhaust valve is being held partially open at all times, which is why the previous owner was getting zero, well, next to nothing in terms of compression at this bank. I'm gonna bump the engine a bit more just so I can get the lobe of this cam pointing straight up so I can definitively um, know that that clearance is the problem. Right, I've bumped the engine over by putting it in gear and bumping the rear wheel and the lobe is now pointing right up on that exhaust side of the left bank. This is 0 0.04 um, feeler gauge and still it will not go under um, yeah, all the way across it will not go under. Yep, nothing. Oops, went past it. Won't go under. So there's the problem. It's exactly what I thought it would be. And I'm not counting my eggs just yet, but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why the guy got zero compression and not a burnt valve. Although that 
in itself could lead to a burnt valve if the guy's been riding with too tight um, too tight an exhaust valve it would be leaking a bit of exhaust gas and slowly eroding so the head may still have to come off if after I change the shims I'm, I'm still getting low compression the valves or that valve might need lapping or replacing and hopefully the head won't need a, a valve seat job okay so as you can see things have happened I've loosely assembled some things just mainly to see what's missing and what's broken as things have turned out um, ignition cord back on they're fine I've forgotten the wiring which one uh, goes to which so I'm going to have to look that up so I've left it disconnected for now none of that's tight put the battery in, uh, in and the battery tray I might be missing a bolt which attaches the tray to the mud guard I'm not entirely sure just yet but there's nothing really to worry about <coughs> Found where the CDI goes, along with the fuse and relay section. Um, nothing really to report there. Um, we're missing a bit out of the plastic which locks into that grommet. A bit annoying. This bit of the plastic has broken off. The mounting to that, mm, repairable. We've got some. Some of these grommets are supposed to have. See if I can find any. Um, no. These grommets are supposed to have these metal spaces, I guess. Uh, what that means is that when you tighten the bolt out, you aren't tightening it down onto the rubber you tighten it onto the spacer and it allows the rubber to move about slightly just to allow for vibrations um, unfortunately some are missing so that one's missing a spacer I think one under there is missing a spacer um, that's all um, we're also missing them from I think the battery tray as well some of them are missing minor annoyance um, I've got the seat lock, I think is what it is. That's connected up. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Okay. So, this chintzy lock, which looks like it's already been... No, no, it's fine. Um, so the key goes in there, and then something happens. Yeah, that's all just releases the catches seems a little dangerous this like it could I don't know it's, it's a bit difficult for it to come out mm, be very unlucky if that came out accidentally because once that's happened you see it would be locked so it's a bit of an oversight that want to have something capturing it. Anyway, that's fine. I've hooked up the battery. It's had a little charge. I've checked the levels, they're fine. Um, the battery seems like there's something missing, but I don't see like it's missing anything. It's, it just seems too loose in there. Like something's supposed to come over the top maybe, but I don't see any hooks or anything to capture a, a strap. <laughs> Not put the carbs in for now. Um, I just wanted to see what's potentially missing so far and it's just those spaces and a bit of plastic work which is mildly annoying. Battery's hooked up. light comes on. I don't think the neutral switch works because it is in neutral but it's not coming on. Don't know why. Um, is the light on? Nope. Uh, which is the lights? Uh, 
Yep, that works. Uh -huh. Very important stuff there. Not. Um, oh, it's push to cancel. Right, horn. Ah, the horn's loud. Oh, just noticed that. So that's missing a bolt. I've got plenty of them. The light bulb doesn't want to come on. Ah, just the main beam isn't working. Full beam is, so the bulbs or connections a bit. One of the two there. Um, oh, most important. Will it turn over? Oh, that's not it. Hang on, what's that? Oh, that's ignition cancel. So that needs to be there to run. That kills it. And you can't start the engine. Right. Sounds fine. Turns over fine. Yeah. So far, so expected.